I got a request for information today. Somebody's working on a, uh, a Berg Alto hard rubber mouthpiece and said he's, he's got numbers 42, 32, 22, 18, 12, 79 tip. And he thought the facing was a little long. He says, ask me if I have a stock curve uh, used for targets. Um, so I'm gonna try to do this live um, live recording it is uh, and then uh, without editing and then post it to Facebook um, first you got to know what do these numbers mean uh, I assume he's using probably an Eric brand uh, feeler set so the um, longest number is going to be the 15 thousandths feeler then the next is 10 24 34 50 and then um, the last is a tip opening at 079. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going, instead of using my own files, going to the, uh, there's a file archive on Google that I've posted the link to several times. Um, that's the old Yahoo mouthpiece work group. And if you even go to the old mouthpiece work group, there's a link there on, on its home page to these files. So if you go under Alto Sachs, there happens to be an Alto facing curve file. Double click on that, brings up a preview of it. Um, you need to download this and hopefully you have a copy of Excel because, uh, let's see, open when done. So, because you don't see the graph if you just bring it up in the viewer. Um, enable editing. It's got two tabs. So the first tab has some feelers loaded into it at 15. What are the numbers we need? 15, 10, 24, 34, and 50. So I'm going to change that to 34.034. We don't need these last two numbers. So I'm going to go down here and delete them. Then um, tip opening. Let's see this file. Uh, we can just all, all the blues are typically, uh, this one I set up like 2005, it says. I probably set it up way before that. But anyhow, the, so the, the tip opening we'll put in there is 0 0.079. The facings will we'll just make this point to the left, put a formula in the right cell so that it's symmetric. And the left side will plug in these numbers, 42, 32, 22, 18, 12. Let's see what it is now. Um, you can change the date. Tip, oh, the tip opening, I, I overrode what should have been there. You're really just supposed to put the tip opening up here and it'll copy it down there. So 0 0.079, and this should have been pointing up there. Well, I'm not sure because it's blue. Usually my, my convention was blue as an input, but... Um, and then the other is how wide is your tip rail on the mouthpiece? Um, 32 is in there. We'll just leave that the same. That can be changed to, to whatever. It's not supplied, but that's kind of a ballpark tip rail thickness. And it changes that into glass gauge kind of numbers. So down here is the blue is the measurement. The, the, the magenta is the last curve fit that was plotted on here. Um, so you can see that, you know, they, using this feeler gauge set, the, um, the feelers are across here and the uh, glass gauge number here. Um, you know, even with just the curve that was in there, you can see where uh, it's not too long, I don't think. Um, typically, alto facing curves are 40 to 44. Some classical ones are shorter, down to 36, 38. You, some big open... Uh, uh, Jazz rock ones go to 46, 44. So 42 is not a bad number. Um, but let's see, if we wanted to try to fit, oh man, I haven't been able to get rid of this McCaffrey pop up. All right, anyhow, um, let's see what do we have on here. To do a curve fit, this is a radial fit spreadsheet. So it's got a radius and a start parameter that will be calculated based on the data. Everything's already set up for a least squared curve fit. If I have to copy 
this, fill this all up so that it uses all the data. Okay, the way you set this up is you, this is your target curve that you want to minimize. So you go do that, then you go to data, solver, and this is, whoops, excuse me for bumping. This is your target curve, okay which is the error sum, you want to minimize that by changing the cells in J3 and J4. It's already set up for that, but you'd put that in there if not. So then you hit solve, boom, and say OK. And it changed these cells to minimize this number and come up with a new curve. So there's the new radial curve, the magenta line through the data supplied. So if you want a facing curve that's close to what you have, but better, it would be more free-blowing, is in, instead try to go from the blue cur curve to the magenta. And that would be, um, let's see if it did it right. This is the fit. So the 42 could stay the same. The 32 would go down to 31.8, almost the same. The next one's 22.7. And 17.8, 11.4, 1.9. So um, over here is kind of a scratch area used to create this uh, graph. If you like, click on the graph, you can see it highlights this area. That's that's the gra graph data. So so these numbers are kind of put over to here, and that's what I call the scratch area. So there you go for you know a curve that's better than what you have, smoother it would get rid of this little bump there. You can just work on that bump and, and play test it and see if it gets better. If not, you may have to kind of close it down a little and, and work on you know, getting rid of this flat section here. Okay, now if you wanted to record, uh, create an entirely new curve, what you do is set this up the way it was before I changed it. You, 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 you delete all these so that you're only looking at the beginning of the facing curve. And I, I got rid of too many of them. Let me undo that. You get rid of everything but the first and the last. So it's looking at the tip opening and the facing length. Doesn't matter what you have for the rest. So let's say you wanted the target to be uh, 40. We'll force that to 40. And you want the tip opening to be. Let's go open it up, 0.085. So a shorter facing with more opening. You can see the blue moved here, the blue moved there. We didn't change the middle data, but it's going to ignore that. And it's going to uh, now solve for a radial curve uh, that goes through those two points rather than a bet best fit. So you can go to Data, Solver, hit the Solve button. OK. I'm just going to recalculate. So you can see the new curve goes through the new tip opening, goes through the 40, and it comes pretty darn close to the rest of the curve except for the first number. But here are your new targets right here for this situation. So I know that's kind of fast. If you don't have spreadsheet skills, um, you really just can't do this. I, uh, uh, it's better that you just measure the facing from a mouthpiece you like and transfer that over to a mouthpiece you don't like. So uh, there you go.